What is up, peeps? Hope we're all doing well. Welcome back to a quick little update on the Optic Scump and Hex versus Activision lawsuit. Now, it's only a little bit of an update and one that kind of went under the radar in the last week or so, but we actually got a couple lawyers' opinions out there. Thanks to the law of esports, that being Jake and Neffy, they're going to describe to you exactly what this update is as the case is now seemingly a bit on hold as both parties have mutually agreed to go to arbitration in a bit of a, a different twist. They're actually agreeing to go to arbitration to decide which claims in the lawsuit are going to be arbitrated or actually going to be going to court. So I'll try and give you guys my opinion after this, but here's Nephi from the Law of Esports to describe exactly what this means in smart people terms. Nephi from the Law of Esports here to give you guys a most recent update on the Hex and Skump versus Activision Blizzard lawsuit. As you guys may or may not know, just a few days ago, Hex and Skump's lawyers filed a stipulation to stay case in their lawsuit. Now, what does this mean? A stipulation is an agreement by the parties to stay a case means to freeze or put a case on hold until something else happens. Skump and Hex's attorneys filed the stipulation to stay case because the parties, both Activision Blizzard and Hex and Skump's lawyers, agreed to arbitrate the case. Specifically, they agreed to arbitrate the case to determine whether or not Hex and Skump's issues should be arbitrated. I know that sounds circular, but that's just the way that the law is. Now, what is arbitration? Arbitration is one of the two main methods of alternate dispute resolution, also known as ADR. The first one is mediation. The second one is arbitration. Arbitration specifically is basically like a mini trial. There is an arbitrator who's like the judge. There is a little presentation or like a trial where evidence is heard, and then the arbitrator makes a decision. Now, generally, arbitrations cannot be binding and sometimes they are binding. In this particular case, the parties agreed to enter into binding arbitration to determine whether or not the claims that Hex and Skump are making against Activision Blizzard applies to the arbitration, right? Whether or not all the other issues should be heard in arbitration. And so what's gonna happen now is the parties that have agreed to do this are gonna sit down, they're gonna have a mini trial in front of an arbitrator, they're gonna argue and the point, which is whether or not any of their other claims should be arbitrated and should fall under arbitration. Now it looks like what I've learned is that back in October of last year, Activision Blizzard actually filed a request for arbitration against Hex back whenever uh, there had been some details released about some of the threats that he was making. And then later in January 29, it looks like Activision Blizzard again made a request to arbitrate in the International Court of Arbitration against Seth Abner, also known as Skump. And then later in February 15, 2024, Hex, Skump, and Hex LLC filed the lawsuit. And then just looks like a few weeks later, we found ourselves here. And a lot of people out there are gonna have a lot of different opinions on where this can go. At the end of the day, when I asked Nephi and I asked Jake their opinions on this, they can't really give you, you know, any kind of uh, confirmation of what's going to happen because it is so subjective. There's a lot of variables in place. On the one end, yes, could this lead to a settlement? Yeah, maybe. Could this lead to nothing? Uh, yeah. Maybe this doesn't really give me an inkling in one direction or the other. I don't really feel, I mean, I, I'm not qualified to give you guys an opinion. And typically when you ask lawyers about this, they're not going to give you it too heavy of a footprint on a direction they're heading either. And I just, I don't know if that's a term or a phrase I just made up, give you too heavy of a footprint of where they're going. I, that kind of makes sense a little bit, but you really never know in these cases, like what could be going to arbitration, what could actually be going to court, do Hex and Skump really wanna drag this out? Does Activision wanna drag this out, head into a discovery period where we find out both things or a lot on both sides of these things? Could this lead to a little settlement? Yes, do I think it's going to be the big hundreds of millions of dollars it's being asked for heck no but it is a bit of an update and that does mean this thing will be dragging on and i i, I don't know if we're ever going to exactly know the details but maybe one day we can hope thanks to the law of esports for doing this guys also thanks to all of you watching one quick note on the way out if you guys love some valorant we've recently partnered up with i buy power super thankful for them and they partnered up with vct americas if you guys want to play on the same pcs professional valorant players do their link will be down below thanks to i buy power thanks to all of you guys watching and we'll see you guys back here next time little update on hex and skump we'll see where this one goes Ta -ta.